Hey everyone, uh, for my next project, I got inch and a half uh, poplar. I think it's four feet long, and this is a new uh, new thing I'm going to try. I did one. I made one of my walking sticks like this, the handle part. It was uh, actually the puzzle stick. I drilled out, I think, three eighths or quarter inch holes. Then I put in a wood dowel and I cut it off and I put it in there and I, I kept gluing them in and I cut them off and I sanded it flat so it looked like wood dots you know like inlays almost and that's what I basically want to do with this stick see I got the design all drawn out on it and and how I got the design on it I used a, uh, a toilet paper tube I slid it over and I had to split it and tape it together so it wraps around there tight and I just cut a design in it and measure you have to make all your measurements exact because you don't want ones to run into the other ones as you go down the stick and you have to mark them out in the middle to start where you want to drill them out and stuff like that so that's what I did and I bought all these wood dowels the different sizes and that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill it out and put a I'm going to start off with a half inch and I'm going to drill it out and I'm going to gradually go smaller through the sizes and put the wood dowels in there so the whole thing will be like dots almost like a crop circle the way they make crop circles they put the different designs and stuff that's way more elaborate than I can actually do on this thing but whenever I do my sticks I just have to think of ideas and I just wing it and just go and uh, so that's that's what I'm gonna start with so uh, Let's get started. Well, this is the drill press I've been using. And I've been using a bunch of different bits. And this is what I got so far. You know, going the bigger, the smaller, and stuff. And I have to put the wood dowels in there and cut them off. And uh, I'm not done yet. i still got some more holes to drill, as you can see the lines go. So this is it so far. It's not perfect. Some of the holes I got too close to each other, and they knocked out the other previous one and stuff and it chipped out right there I put tape over the pieces of wood that came out to hold them in place so I'll glue them later that's it so far well I got it all drilled out and everything and here's what it looks like all the way down I, I messed up down here because I did it up on toward the handles well you know, it's four o'clock in the morning you don't really think straight but I'll just sand that down for the cap I usually put my name and the stick number and the date and everything around the bottom and I put the cap on it so so it stays hidden and nobody really sees it unless they take it off and then see oh okay it's made by this guy um, but uh, I I got all the the holes drilled and everything and I'm thinking about calling it a crop circle stick that's the only thing I could think of is with this because uh, it, it's kind of a design where crop circles are some goofy thing that would be done what I'm doing now is cutting off the wood dowels to see the secret is don't cut all the way through because it'll splinter the back and you won't use it this is a hard dowel and I cut them off and I already did the half inch ones as you can see here I put them in the holes these are the other ones I'm going to put them in all the other holes and then glue them in as I go and then I'll just take my Dremel, get them down as far as I can, and then hand sand everything. So that's it so far. I'm going to warn you now, it's not good looking, but uh, this is what I got so far. I ran out of uh, wood dowels. I had to send my wife out to go get another, uh, I think, 3 8 And uh, this is what it looks like so far. I still have to fill in some of the holes that I missed before, and I ran out. So uh, that's what it looks like so far. Now what I have to do is grind them down, like sand them. I have a disc that cuts wood, and it works really well with the Dremel. So I'm going to grind these down as far as I can, and then I'm going to hand sand it with a block of wood. So that's what we got so far. It's not the prettiest thing, but it's it's going to get it's going to get to where I want it, I guess. <laughs> we'll just keep on keep on trying. Well, you can see I got all of these ground down with this it's like a it's a wood bit it cuts wood it lost this uh, it's still okay but it works quite well knocking these off I use it like a 
essentially use it like a stump grinder, as you can see. End grain is really hard, so that's why it kind of burns it, but it still knocks it down pretty good. Just take your time, and uh, I cut them off with a saw. The other ones I couldn't. That'd be less. I had to use this, but I got. Just to take some time. That's all. Hey everyone, wanted to give you an update on the stick. I used that disc. I cut them down as far as I could, and then I used a, uh, a half-inch sanding drum to get it down flush with the stick. That way I'm going to use a, a sanding block to knock it down and I didn't want, if they were up a little bit, I didn't want them tearing the, the sanding block down. So I'm going to start with 60 grit. Alright, no, I'm going to start with 80 grit to get it sanded down. Here's what it looks like so far. I have all of them flush. You can see where I went down just a little bit, but I'm going to sand them totally flush and work my way up through the grits. And there's a couple spots where when I when I drilled it out, it kind of chipped out. And I didn't like that. And I still have to fix this down here a little bit. I got the date and I got to put, put the number on it. And I got the handle. In the top, I drilled it out and worked it pretty good. And this is the, the drawer pull. I mentioned it before. What I use for tops are these drawer pulls. You can buy anywhere, like at Hobby Lobby is where I go. And I notch it out. And I'll put it down in there. You know, you can use hot glue, epoxy, silicone. It, it doesn't really matter. But that's what it looks like so far. So I'm going to knock, knock these down flush with uh, 80 grit and then work my way up through there. So uh, that's what I got through next. So uh, we'll, we'll see you in a little bit. Well, I got it all finished. And uh, here's the top. I got the top at a, a hobby store. You know, you can get them the drawer pulls, and I just cut the screw down. I drill it down in there. I just eyeball where I center that. I just drill it down pretty big. And you could put epoxy, you could put uh, caulking down in there, silicone, or just hot glue, because it really doesn't need to be in there that tight. And then the wrap, I left it. I don't want to spray it. I wrapped this in tape to protect it, because I want bare wood. And I, uh, I put wood glue on it, and I just wrap it with this stuff. And, uh, and here's the rest of it. I'm okay with the design, I guess. It's my first shot at trying something like this. And uh, it's okay. I mean, it, it, it's not that bad. The, the wood filler that I had to use from uh, when I drilled the holes, it got a little too close. The bit was like not exactly straight. It wobbled a little bit and it chipped it out. And the wood filler kind of changed color when I sprayed it. It's not very noticeable, but it's still there, you know. So it's, uh, it took some time and I, the edge grain is really hard, but a lot of sanding. It turned out alright. Looks pretty neat. I like how you can see the, the edge grain of the, the different wood dowels, the different colors and stuff. But that's it. I'm going to take it out for a walk. Well, the dog always probably heard that and she wants to go. Alright, thanks for watching.